everyone and welcome back to HKTV. I'm Amelia and this is Kasia and today we're going to be thinking about what our greatest treasure is. Now Kasia, what's your greatest treasure? I'm really glad you asked Amelia. I actually came prepared for this. <gasps> oh wow, beautiful. Um, so, oh, these are my flowers and um, they're my greatest treasure in the whole wide world. I take them everywhere with me. I take them to all my meal times. They sit by my bedside when I go to sleep and I even brought them to me uh, wow. with me to church today. Yeah. They are beautiful. Now in today's story we're going to hear about a woman called Mary and her greatest treasure was a perfume, a very special perfume that took her almost a whole year to save up enough money to buy it. Should we have a smell? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh wow, that smells so good. <laughs> okay, not too much. It's a very okay. expensive perfume. There you go. Okay, well we're going to hear from God's Word now, so let's listen to Kasia as she teaches us. So we're going to be reading a story from the Bible. It comes from John chapter 12, verse 1 to 8. And this story happens in the lead up to when Jesus is going to die on the cross for our sins. It happens at a time when the Jews are celebrating a festival called the Passover, where they remember how God saved his people out of Egypt. Six days before the Passover feast began, Jesus went to the town of Bethany. Bethany was near Jerusalem, and Jesus' friend Lazarus lived there with his sisters Mary and Martha. Jesus went to his friend Simon's house for a meal. He was reclining at the table when Lazarus' sister Mary came to him. She had a jar of very expensive perfume. Mary broke open the jar and poured the perfume on Jesus' head and feet. Jesus' disciples were very upset. They thought Mary had wasted the exp expensive perfume by pouring it on Jesus. The perfume was worth 300 denarii. This would have taken Mary a whole year to earn. One of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, said she could have sold the perfume for a lot of money and then she could have given the money to the poor. But Judas did not say this because he cared about the poor. He said it because he loved money. In fact, Judas was a thief. The other disciples also told Mary that she had done the wrong thing, but Jesus spoke up. He said, leave her alone. She has done a very good thing for me. Then Jesus explained, you will always have people around you who are poor but you will not always have me. Mary has poured perfume on my body to get it ready for burial. Jesus said that wherever the gospel was told in the whole world, people would also hear about Mary and the good things she had done. That was a great story. Thanks, Kasia. Now, I wonder if some of us, just like the disciples, are wondering why Mary would give up her most valuable treasure and pour it on Jesus. But Mary knew that Jesus was about to do something very important. He was about to head to the cross. And so she wanted to use her perfume to get him ready for that. Jesus also knew that he was headed to the cross and that he was about to give his life and die so that he could save the sins of the whole world. But Jesus also knew that three days later, he was gonna come back to life to save anyone who trusted in him. You see, Mary was happy to give up her greatest treasure in worship of Jesus because she loved him and she knew that he was more valuable than anything in this world or even anything that she owned. Now, kids, many of us have things that we treasure, maybe like our flowers, maybe our iPads or even our family. And all of those things are great. But Mary gave up the thing that she treasured most to show that she loved Jesus. And I wonder for us what it might look like for us to use the things that we treasure the most to show that we love Jesus, or even to use the things that we treasure the most that other people might come to love and know Jesus too. Now that's the end of our story and teaching for today on HKTV, but in the weeks to come, we're gonna keep learning about what Jesus did when he went to the cross. But to finish up with today, why don't we pray together? So kids, we're going to pray now and remember that when we pray, God hears us. So let's pray to our God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you sent your son Jesus to die for us and that he rose again so that we can have life with you. We thank you that Mary used her treasure to show how much she loved Jesus. We pray that we too can use our treasure to show how much we love Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us on HKTV, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.